Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the important Java entry questions, Java RMA, Remote Method Invocation. Java RMA is a mechanism that allows one to invoke a method on an object that exists in a, another address space. That means another JVM. From one JVM to another JVM, Java RMA helps to invoke a method. It's an it is an object oriented RPC mechanism, remote pro procedure call mechanism. It uses the Internet Inter ORB protocol IAOP. Please remember this this protocol is very important. So, for example, the a client application in a computer in Chicago location wish to talk talk to a computer B in New York location to a server application. So a client application is running in a computer A and server application running in a computer B in a different location. These two are different JVMs actually. So server provides some services and client wants to consume those services. So RMA plays an important role. Java RMA plays an important role between the communica communication between these two computers. So client application, the RMA has uh, two components called RMA stub and RMA skeleton. So whenever client application invokes a remote method, for client application it looks like a proxy, it looks like a, a, a local method, but RMA plays an important role, RMA stub plays an important role to pack the client application's object state, okay, it will pack actually, it will serialize it and using the host a server IP address using the server IP address and the application port number so this every application in a OS will have a port number so using the server IP and the port number and the service uh, object name the class name or the object name so it will try to find out which computer it has to connect to so RMI stub will pack the objects it will try to find out locate the uh, corresponding machine and it will send it will talk to the different computer and it here you can see it is converted into stream of bytes that means serialization process happened and these signals are sent through the wire and uh, once it reaches the computer B there is one more component called skeleton RMA skeleton once it reaches the JVM RMA skeleton will take care of unmarshalling that means converting into uh, converting uh, a real object so it will prepare the real object and it will understand it will unpack the uh, it will unpack the uh, object and it will understand which server class should be invoked and which service method say for example credit dot transfer uh, account dot transfer method means it will try to find out the transfer method and it will invoke the particular method so this is how uh, communication between two computers happen using java remote method invocation so marshalling and unmarshalling very important so unmarshalling means converting your object and s to make it suitable it will it can travel through the wire St it, it will be converted to stream of bytes and unmarshalling means it will be it will be uh, the opposite process from the stream of bytes it will be converted into understanding understandable uh, objects so that i can invoke in the server application so it's a very big topic i would say rma stub and rma skeleton plays an important role because they take the lower level details like communicating to the different server finding out the different server and wrapping wrapping the object state and so client application is like uh, it's cool it just called the proxy method that's all it knows it does not even know what is happening under 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 the uh, the under the wire so what say rma takes care of everything so till here to here it's a very big topic i'm trying to find uh, i'm trying to uh, explain in a short video hope this video is useful thank you and all the best